Hey guys, welcome back to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today we'll be looking at an all new 3D printed carbon fiber e-bike. This here is one of the most sophisticated bikes we've seen yet with a built-in screen that literally talks to you. Not only that, it has a fingerprint technology, GPS, as well as a variety of other accessories and features that we've never seen before, including a carbon fiber belt. Now in this episode here, we'll be unboxing it, trying it out, and seeing exactly what it's all about. So if you guys wanted your own, be sure to check out the link down below in the description. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so check it out. So this is the packaging that it came in. Overall, a pretty big box, but then again, it is carbon fiber, so it is quite light. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what's on the inside. Oh, this thing is really light. All right, so in terms of packaging goes, the prototype itself seems pretty simple. Uh, looks like we have our frame, uh, and we just have to mount our tire, and that's pretty much it. All right, so we also have a box here, which houses our charger. So this here is a standard wall outlet charger. Uh, and then we have two sets of pedals, which we'll be installing. And then lastly, our clip to mount on our tire. All right, so overall the build process was quite simple. It's literally plug and play and that is pretty much it. So let's go ahead and take a look at it a little bit closer. All right, so we're outside here and this thing looks magnificent in the light. It's super lightweight, which is really cool to see. And the fact that it has a nice two-tone finish. Now you can go ahead and choose a variety of different colors up to your own color scheme, but this one here is actually appealing. Now up in front, you do have this gigantic LED screen kind of pointing at you, showcasing what speed you're at, as well as a voice activated system. So you can go ahead and use a variety of different features, including GPS, turn signals, as well as headlight and taillight. All right, so to give you a quick little demo on how this works. Now, let's just say if I use my other finger here and I try using the touch sensor here, this will say that this does not belong to this user and it won't unlock the bike. Now, however, if I go ahead and switch it up, there we go. So I use the correct finger and it unlocked the bike. Now, this here will showcase the speedometer as well as the battery life and the actual uh, speed mode. So you have eco mode, eco, comfort mode, comfort, sport mode. and sport. And then you also have eco. manual mode. So this will be no power at all. Now, in order to access the voice system, you just have to hold this right here. And now you can talk to it. Uh, so there's a few different commands that you can do, but right now I think they only have the one that's for the light, but I'm sure they can add more too. So let's see how this works. So I'm gonna press it. Light on. Light on. There we go, so the light is now on. Press it again. Light off. Light off. So that is actually pretty cool. Now it's also a horn, so if I press this button here, it's supposed to be a bell. <laughs> Try again. So that's kind of cool. And then if you hit uh, right arrow, this will turn the right turn signal on. The final production model will have a tail light in the back too with turn signals, I believe. Uh, and then this here's a left turn signal. There you go. And that is that. And then we can turn it off by simply holding this button right here. Power off. And that indicated that it just got locked. Now, if someone tried stealing our bike, it'll start making noises like that. <laughs> so you can't really move it around too much without unlocking it. Now, you do have different controls, including a touch sensor here, which is a fingerprint control, allowing you to go ahead and unlock it by simply using your finger. And then you do have the unique design concept. For instance, you're missing the pillar right over here which is because this is 3D printed. So this makes it more lightweight and more structurally sound. In addition to that, the belt itself is made out of carbon fiber. So you don't have that oily substance as well as a variety of different gears as this here is a single gear bike. Now, the way this works is quite interesting, mainly because of the fact that you have three different speeds, including eco mode, as well as sports mode and comfort mode. Now, other than that, it looks really nice and I'm excited to go ahead and try this out. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop on.
All right, there you guys have it. So overall, a great sports bike. This is definitely designed for the road. And the fact that the battery itself is built into the frame, it almost feels seamless and you can't even feel that it's there. I really like the integrated screen. So you can go ahead and communicate with the screen at the same time and it's actually nicely well lit. Now with that said, if you guys had any questions, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, I thank you again for watching. See you guys next time. Take care now, bye-bye.